Hi everybody, it's me Tanya in Lyon, France. Um, again, having the time of my life. And I wanted to share with you something really heartfelt. I don't think I told many of you actually why I came to France. And so I want to share the story very quickly. So some of you may know that I have created a leg of my clinical practice devoted to palliative care and it is something so incredibly heartwarming and moving for me I actually feel the most comfortable and the most useful being in the presence of someone who is transitioning and all I have to do is hold space of deep love and peace for whoever is passing and hold them with so much intention. And I just feel like it is divine service to God. And I feel incredibly grateful to be able to do this service. And I had the opportunity to work with a divine soul by the name of Shah Radis. And Shah came to me at the age of 53 with metastasized breast cancer. And when I took her on as a patient, uh, she was already terminal, but f still so full of vitality and desire for deep peace. And we worked very diligently together um, right up until a few days before she passed. And then the last time I saw her, I held her hand and she looked at me and she said, and Tanya, what's your bucket list? because we had been talking about, for her, the things that she's done in her life. And she shared with me some things she still wanted to do, but realized that she had run out of time. So when she said to me, and what is your bucket list? The first thing that popped in my mind was Paris. And she looked at me and she said, what, what are you waiting for? Don't be like me. I've run out of time. She said, savor your life. Do it now. And I said, yes, absolutely. And then when I got back, back to work, I said to Wendy, my amazing, fabulous assistant, which I cannot exist without, I said, Wendy, can you find me a good flight to Paris? And she's like, yeah. And then I called up, or on Facebook, I started chatting with Gabriel and Addie, who live in Lyon. And the first thing Gabriel said is, when are you coming? To France and I said how does September look and he's like yes and so that's why I'm here so I'm here today because of Char and if I had a glass of wine I would be drinking this glass of wine in honor of Char but um, I'm just going to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and to Char I know you're there and here and everywhere thank you for helping me manifest this dream come true and thank you to Gabriel and Addie and to all the new friends I've met in Lyon Milu and Guillaume and their baby Simon and Georgia and Adele and Ava and all you amazing people um, Thank you for welcoming me and can't wait to come back. Merci beaucoup. Namaste.